everyone, welcome back to volume one. It's been a little while since I filmed an indoor bouldering video and we're a little rusty after three months on the home wall. But today I figured I would share a couple of my favorite projects here at volume one. A couple that I think I might have in today's session and then a couple that I think are long-term projects. We've had a couple of sessions back now. So I picked out a few of my favorites and I've had a little bit of a feel for the holds and some of the movement so they're not completely unseen but I'm going to break down my projects and and <laughs> so there's one project in particular which I'm quite excited to show you it's very anti my style there's a coordination move to start with and it's up these kind of like big green bulbous like volumey type holds quite competition style like I said not really my style at all um, but I've been enjoying working it and then a couple of more like bog standard crimpy climbs some like more my style um, also using this session to put my new shoes to the test so I've been breaking in the EB black opiums which are their mid-range shoe quite good for indoors breaking in quite nicely but I figured that I would head maybe over to the slab or over to this green that I was just talking about to try out some like fancy footwork with them and see how I get on with them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and now I'm gonna go and try and climb my projects. <laughs> so this boulder is pretty much the kind of climbing that I am worst at with some compression moves and a little bit of coordination up some big slopey holds and I'm gonna try and break down first how I figured out the start move. So first you start matched on this slope green hold here and for my first couple of attempts I was aiming to catch the next hold and hold the swing but I wasn't having much luck with that. As you can see I was spinning off to the left each time and I didn't quite have the span to control that pop movement or the core strength to hold that swing so I figured out I needed to figure out something to stop the swing. So I was playing with this volume here as a catch for the right hand after very nearly making that movement work, I decided to keep with that beta and really commit to pressing on that volume with my right arm as I swung around to stop the swing. So I was finally able to make that move stick, so I moved up into the slightly precarious middle section on good holds but really trusting my feet to gain this right hand pinch which really forces an open hand pinch that I didn't feel very strong on and didn't feel very secure, especially with all those volumes to bump on the way down beneath you. This attempt I was quite straight on the hold and as I gained height in this position the hold for my right hand felt much worse and I didn't feel able to go out left to the rounded hold here. So because I'd figured out that I needed to go left I adjusted my beta and my grip style on that right hand hold that I was struggling with and really tried to lay back and drag the hold almost to make that hold feel better. Then I went for the rounded hold, but a few issues with span or shoulder strength possibly scuppered me on that last move. Yeah, go on. Go on, Hannah. And I ended up dropping off after a bit of a battle.
Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that move figured out, but my friend Ed was able to make the move, so I filmed him completing the climb to give you guys some closure on this bold problem. Boulder 2 is one of my current favourites. In the centre it's this yellow problem that makes use of some really nice heel hooks and a little bit of a pop in the middle that makes for a little bit of me overcoming my fear of jumping, which is always good. The most interesting move on this I found to be the high left heel into the jump, but on this go I didn't quite work up the courage to commit and dropped off. On my second go I was able to reach that same committing move and I gave it a little more this time catching the jump on an in-cut crimp and heading to the top to complete the climb. The last boulder is this red problem on the vertical wall with an interesting start and some bridging or stemming throughout the middle. I completely misjudged the first move, opting to go with a really high right foot, thinking that that would help me to gain more height more quickly on the climb, but as you can see here, that really set me up badly for the next sequence. I'm required much more hip flexibility than I have in my left leg. In reality, the left lower foot positioned me much better for gaining the crimp above, and then my second choice freed up my left hand to move into the rest of the climb in a much better way, and I was able to move through those crimps. making use of the volume here to gain height where I felt I needed it. So that wraps up this video, I hope that you're all enjoying indoor climbing and indoor gyms being open again if you're UK based. Hopefully I'll be able to film lots more indoor climbing in the next few months, so keep your eyes peeled for that and I'll see you in my next video, bye!